Hey guys, this is Alex C with TFP TV, and for today's run and gun, we're going to be featuring a Gewehr 98, produced in 1901. This is a very old Mauser 98, and I must say I've been looking forward to this run and gun for a long time. This is actually one of my favorite, if not my favorite, rifle of all time. But don't just take my word for it. Ian Hogg, who you might recognize as being one of the greatest firearm historians of all time, said... It was Mauser's masterpiece. Every little improvement that Mauser could think of, all sorts of little tiny details were added together, and they formed what you may call the ultimate bolt action system. And even today, companies are still making rifles with that bolt action. There's just something about the Mauser. When ammo was cheap back in the day, well, 7.62x54R today is kind of the cheap surplus round, but when I was younger, it was 8mm. Everyone was buying surplus Mausers out of big barrels at surplus shops and all that. And it's just hard not to like these. They're very smooth cycling. Um, so many countries made them. About 100 million were actually made. And if you count sporting models and variants of the Mauser, that number is much higher. Loading them is also very fast and simple. The, uh, Paul Mauser invented the stripper clip, and it was introduced in the 89 model Belgian Mauser. But you can see how quickly you can throw five rounds in it, as opposed to the LaBelle, where you have to painstakingly insert each round, which is a real pain. Of course, a famous derivative seen here is a Carabiner 98 Kurtz employed by the Germans in World War II, but we're taking a look at a World War I model here. And I did mention that sporting rifles today are basically Mauser derivatives. This Kimber 8400, you can see the influence here. It's a, uh, a bridged rifle. Obviously, they omitted the stripper clip guide, but it's easy to see where Mauser has influenced everything uh, in the way of bolt-action rifles today. But let's load up and take it to the run-and-gun course. We're going to shoot 25 shots with a total of four reloads. So let's see how it performs. All right, guys, here we go with the Imperial Gewehr 98 rifle. Let's see how it does on the course. All right, guys, uh, let's go down range and talk about it a little bit. All right, guys, so that run went okay. Um, I did miss one. I pulled one pretty hard. I could definitely feel it when I was doing it. I guess I got a little jumpy when I was standing up, but, you know, everything on the Gewehr 98s just really works well. Um, from the weight of shoulders all the way up to the simple things like the safety, and even the way I was manipulating the stripper clips, as you've seen in past running guns where I use stripper clips, I mean, everything on this is just so well thought out and very smooth, very easy to operate. But uh, I'll put the total hits versus misses here, and let's go talk about it a little bit more in the room. So 24 hits, one miss. I just said this was the perfect rifle, and then I had a miss, but I guess, uh, hey, that happens to everybody every now and then. But still, you know, to most people, these will just kind of be a bolt-action rifle, but to me, they represent the best of what a bolt-action rifle can be. I don't like the Gewehr 98 sights. I like the later improved sights without the roller coaster on them. The roller coaster sights do a great job kind of blocking what's to the left and right of your target with those large protrusions. And then the front's just a simple front side post that's not hooded. Uh, the K98Ks have a better sight setup. But if you want to learn more about the Mauser 98, C and Arsenal has done a video where they really tell, uh, do a great job telling about the history of the rifle, the development, the designer, Paul Mauser, and everything. I'll link to that in the description. 
But at this point, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'd like to thank Ventura Munitions, our ammunition sponsor, for helping us out with the cost of ammo. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and we'll see you next time.